Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there? It's a question that has captivated humanity for millennia. Today, we are going to explore one of the most mind-boggling aspects of our universe, the sheer number of galaxies it contains. Imagine a universe smaller than an atom, infinitely hot and dense. Then, in a fraction of a second, everything began to expand at an incredible rate. The observable universe, the part we can see from Earth, is about 93 billion light years across. That's an unfathomably vast expanse. And within it, we've detected billions upon billions of galaxies. But how did these cosmic islands come to be? Let's delve deeper into the fascinating story of cosmic evolution. The early universe was far from empty. Space was teeming with particles like protons, neutrons, and electrons. As the universe expanded, these particles formed the first atoms, mostly hydrogen and helium. Tiny density fluctuations existed throughout the early universe. Thus, thus these fluctuations had profound consequences for cosmic evolution. Imagine a steel pond. Dropping a pebble creates ripples. Similarly, density fluctuations acted as seeds for larger structures. Gravity amplified these tiny differences over millions of years. This process, hierarchical clustering, began structure formation in the universe. In the first moments after the Big Bang, the universe was an inferno of unimaginable heat and density. Temperatures soared trillions of times hotter than the sun's core. As the universe expanded, it began to cool, like air escaping from a balloon. The universe's expansion led to cooling. This cooling was crucial for the universe's formation. The early universe wasn't perfectly uniform. Within the hot, dense soup of particles, there existed tiny, random fluctuations in density. These fluctuations, remnants of the Big Bang's explosive birth, were incredibly subtle, like the tiniest ripples on a vast, still pond. These density variations, though seemingly insignificant, would have profound consequences for the future of the universe. They acted as seeds for the growth of larger structures, the precursors to galaxies. Regions of the early universe with slightly higher density attracted matter more strongly due to gravity. Over vast stretches of time, these tiny density differences grew. This process, driven by the relentless force of gravity, is known as hierarchical clustering. Gravity, the fundamental force that governs the interactions of objects with mass, played a pivotal role in shaping the universe as we know it. In the early universe, gravity acted as a sculptor, amplifying the tiny density fluctuations and gradually drawing matter together. As regions of higher density grew, their gravitational pull intensified. This pull extended outward, drawing in more and more material from the surrounding space. Like a snowball rolling down a hill, these regions grew larger and more massive over time. Some regions collapsed to form small, dense clumps of matter, while others coalesced into vast, sprawling clouds. These early structures, shaped by the inexorable pull of gravity, would eventually evolve into the galaxies we observe today. Imagine the early universe not as a smooth expanse, but as a sea with subtle ripples. These ripples were tiny fluctuations in density, echoes of the Big Bang itself. Think of it like dropping a pebble into a pond. The impact creates ripples that spread outward, 
disturbing the one still water. Gravity amplified these differences, shaping them into galaxies. Gravity, with its relentless pull, played a pivotal role in transforming these density ripples into the magnificent galaxies that grace our night sky. Regions with slightly more matter exerted a stronger gravitational pull on their surroundings, drawing in more material like cosmic vacuum cleaners. Over millions and billions of years, this snowball effect continued with these regions pulling in more and more matter, becoming increasingly massive and dense. This process, known as hierarchical clustering, is like building a city from the ground up. Similarly, small, dense clumps of matter in the early universe gradually coalesced into larger and larger structures, eventually giving rise to galaxies. As hierarchical clustering progressed, a remarkable pattern began to emerge on a cosmic scale, the cosmic web. Imagine a vast three-dimensional spider web with galaxies strung along its filaments like glittering beads. The filaments of this web trace the paths of matter flowing under the influence of gravity. Galaxies tend to cluster at the intersections of these filaments, forming vast cosmic metropolises. These galaxy clusters are the largest gravitationally bound structures in the universe, containing hundreds or even thousands of galaxies. The cosmic web isn't static, it's constantly evolving. Galaxies continue to move along the filaments, drawn by the gravitational pull of their neighbours. Galaxies, despite their immense size and grandeur, are not solitary wanderers in the vast cosmic expanse. They engage in a delicate and often dramatic dance with one another, their movements governed by the invisible hand of gravity. Just as the moon orbits the earth and the earth orbits the sun, galaxies exert gravitational forces on each other, influencing their trajectories through space. These gravitational interactions can be subtle, with galaxies gently tugging at each other's outskirts, creating tidal streams of stars and gas. But these galactic interactions can also be far more dramatic. When galaxies stray too close to one another, their gravitational embrace can become a cosmic collision, a merger of epic proportions. Imagine two spiral galaxies, their majestic spiral arms adorned with billions of stars approaching each other at millions of miles per hour. As they draw closer, their gravitational fields begin to warp and distort each other, pulling out long filamentary streams of stars and gas. This is the prelude to a galactic merger, a cosmic dance that will unfold over millions of years. As the galaxies collide, their interstellar gas and dust clouds slam into each other at incredible speeds. These collisions compress the gas, triggering a frenzy of star formation. New stars are born at an astonishing rate, lighting up the merging galaxies with the brilliance of a trillion suns. The stars themselves, however, rarely collide during these mergers. Galactic mergers play a crucial role in shaping the universe's population of galaxies. While spiral galaxies with their graceful arms and active star formation are often the stars of astronomical images, elliptical galaxies are the elder statesmen of the cosmos, their smooth, featureless shapes hinting at a long and eventful history. Elliptical galaxies are thought to form primarily through the mergers of smaller galaxies. 
as galaxies collide and merge. Their spiral arms are disrupted and their interstellar gas is either consumed in bursts of star formation or flung out into intergalactic space. What remains is a galaxy dominated by old red stars with little or no ongoing star formation. These elliptical giants often reside at the centers of galaxy clusters, the densest environments in the universe. For decades, astronomers have been grappling with a perplexing cosmic puzzle. There's more to galaxies than meets the eye. When they observed the rotation of galaxies, something didn't quite add up. The stars in the outer regions were moving far too quickly, seemingly defying the gravitational pull of the visible matter. This mysterious invisible component of galaxies became known as dark matter. Yet, its gravitational influence is undeniable, holding galaxies together and playing a crucial role in their formation and evolution. Imagine a sculptor working with invisible clay, shaping a masterpiece that only becomes apparent through its effects. That's akin to dark matter in galaxy formation. Its gravitational influence is the scaffolding for galaxies. Dark matter acted as a cosmic sculptor, gathering normal matter to form stars and galaxies. Dark matter and normal matter, though different in their properties, are inextricably linked in a cosmic dance of gravity. In the early universe, dark matter's gravitational pull drew in normal matter, forming vast clouds of gas and dust. This interplay between visible and invisible matter created the conditions necessary for galaxy formation. As the clouds of gas and dust collapse under their own gravity, they began to spin, just like a figure skater pulling their arms in to spin faster. This spinning motion flattened the clouds into disks, the precursors to spiral galaxies like our own Milky Way. Within these swirling disks of gas and dust, stars ignited their nuclear furnaces blazing forth with light and heat. For centuries, our understanding of the universe was limited by the capabilities of our telescopes. Early astronomers, gazing through rudimentary instruments, could only dream of the cosmic wonders that lay beyond their reach. But with each technological leap, our view of the cosmos expanded, revealing a universe far grander and more awe-inspiring than we had ever imagined. In recent decades, telescopes have become remarkably sophisticated, equipped with sensitive detectors and advanced optics that can peer billions of light years into the distant past. These technological marvels have revolutionized our understanding of the universe allowing us to study galaxies in unprecedented detail and to detect faint objects that were once hidden from view. In the late 1990s, astronomers pointed the Hubble Space Telescope at a seemingly empty patch of sky, a region smaller than a grain of sand held at arm's length. They allowed the telescope to stare at this tiny region for days, collecting faint light. The resulting image, known as the Hubble Deep Field, revolutionized our view of the universe. It was teeming with thousands of galaxies, each a vast island of stars, gas, and dust. These were faint, distant objects, their light having traveled for billions of years to reach us. The image was a testament to the scale and richness of the universe. Astronomers now estimate 
the observable universe contains trillions of galaxies. That's a staggering number, difficult to comprehend. It's as if each grain of sand on every beach represented a galaxy, each teeming with billions of stars. As we've journeyed through the vast expanse of space and time, we've uncovered the intricate processes that led to the abundance of galaxies in our universe. From the tiniest density fluctuations in the primordial soup to the grand cosmic ballet of gravity and dark matter, we see a universe shaped by both chance and necessity. The sheer number of galaxies, trillions upon trillions, is a testament to the universe's remarkable ability to create complexity and beauty. Each of these galaxies is a vast island universe, home to billions or even trillions of stars, each with its own story to tell. And while we may never visit these distant realms, the light from their stars serves as a constant reminder of the universe's grand design. As we continue to explore the cosmos, we can be sure that even more wonders await us, pushing the boundaries of our knowledge and inspiring generations to come. The universe is a symphony of creation, and we are fortunate to bear witness to its grandeur. As we gaze up at the night sky, let us remember the countless galaxies that grace the cosmos, each a testament to the universe's boundless capacity for wonder.